Yeah, they really did. Beautiful weather here for us all weekend, but tropics were not quite done with them just yet. We are having to keep an eye out there. I know. I know it seems like we should be done with them at this point, but we're not quite there. Uh, we are watching an area well out in the Atlantic that will track here off to the west here. I'm going to go ahead and run you out a full week here on the European model, just kind of showing you how this thing will drift its way over towards the islands of the Caribbean, and it's going to probably work its way somewhere that's around the Turks and Caicos over the next seven days. But actually reaching the mainland U.S. is going to be difficult because we're going to have fronts swooping on down. We're getting now fully into the fall season where fronts are swooping on down. That creates a lot of uh, hostile conditions here across the mainland and eventually likes to turn these systems off to the north and east. So we got a while to watch this one. I am not overly concerned here at this point. We'll just be keeping an eye on it for you back home. Here's one of those fronts I was talking about. It's hot today out ahead of it. We're going to be near 90 this afternoon, but this will sweep through. It'll turn cooler tomorrow and then a secondary push of air by Wednesday and it turns really cooler and you can see what I mean here. I mean, look at the temperatures that are up here north of us now. Now up in Rapid City, Minneapolis, Omaha, Minot, North Dakota. That's the cool stuff. Obviously, we're not going to be dripping, dropping all the way down in the 30s, but we will see a pretty uh, good blast of cool air later on this week. They'll drop us all the way down into the 40s across our area. Right now, it's not that cool. 68 in Mobile, 67 in Pensacola. This afternoon, like I said, gets pretty toasty. We're going to be seeing lots of sunshine, upper 80s out there. Some spots could even hit 90 degrees out there later on today. This evening, pretty mild. If you got some things to do after work or kids have some things to do here tonight with practices, your temperatures will be in the 70s in the evening. Rip current risk is low, which is good to say over the next several days. I don't know if you want to get in the water at this point starting to cool off a good bit, but hey, it's pretty for a walk on the beach. And here's what I was talking about that first uh, push of cool air. We do drop off lower 80s tomorrow, but look what happens by Wednesday and Thursday, well down the 70s and then look at the morning lows well down into the 40s. Yes, you will need an actual coat by Thursday morning and Wednesday morning. Get ready. It will be a real big cool off later on this week. We'll be right